Oh, thanks, Beverly. We're so looking forward to it. I'm so happy you called. Okay, bye. Damn, why did I pick up the phone? <laughs> Judy, how many times do I have to tell you when you pick up the phone, you gotta talk to people? And what do we hate? People. <laughs> Especially my boss and his wife, who just invited us over for dinner next weekend. Just bought a new player piano. Hold on to your straw hat. He's gonna sing. I'm not done yet. Songs he wrote himself. Ragtime. Crap. Oh, hey, what's in the box? Oh, well, honey, gotta warn you, it's something you might find just a little bit upsetting. Chopped up your fiance into tiny little pieces so he'd never leave you. Hey, I'm never telling you any of my dreams again. I'm sorry, what's in there? This is mom's beautiful wedding dress. She has offered to let me get married in it. Really? That's great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, I know she didn't offer it to you when you got married, but I'm hoping you can look past your hurt and let me store it over here so Perry doesn't see it. I'm not hurt, Linda. Mom believes you deserve this, and so do I. You don't have to hide your bitterness, Judy. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Linda. I'm not jealous. Oh. <laughs> Gee, a lot of rage in there, Judy. <gasps> oh, you probably shouldn't take it out of me just because Mom loves me more. Gosh, did I say that out loud? Mom loves me more? Although she does love me more. <laughs> Mom loves me more. Okay, then you. Da 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 nuts. <laughs>
How's school? Fine. Good. And uh, whatever it is you do after school? Watching TV till dinner? Yeah, how's that going? Fine. Good. 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 <laughs> How do you think they make these? I don't know, with a cup maker? Probably. Yeah, well, uh, this has been fun. Maybe we should go now. Look, this is important to your mother, so we got to give it a chance. There's got to be something we can talk about. How do you think they make these? Hey, Thorin. Mr. Miller. Hey, guys. What are you guys doing here? Seeing a movie. What are you doing? I'm having dinner with my dad. Are you being punished? No. <laughs> We're having a father-daughter night. I had a father-daughter night with my dad once. That's when he told me he was leaving my mom for my soccer coach. <laughs> well, have fun. Tell you what, why don't you go hang out with your friends? Really? I mean, what are you gonna do? Well, you know what? There's a game on. I can go watch it at the sharper image in the massage chair while I'm trimming my nose hairs and playing with a boxing robot. And all it costs me is a few hours of dirty looks. Well, would Mom be mad that we're not hanging out together? Well, we'll still be under the same roof. Uh, besides, she doesn't need to know. So we're gonna keep it a secret? Oh, don't be silly. We're gonna lie to her. Daddy, I love you. I love you too, pumpkin. Oh, Tina, you shouldn't fill up on pudding before dinner. It'll ruin your appetite. What's for dinner? Well, I still have to go to the store and shop and, uh... Yeah, you know what? Fill up on the pudding. What are you doing? Airing out Aunt Linda's wedding dress. It's pretty. Can I try it on? No. No, the only one who gets to wear this is your Aunt Linda. <laughs> Uh, Mom, is, is there something you want to tell me? And, and if there is, I, I hope you're marrying up. Oh, come on, be my crew. And a serial killer was born. I just wanted to see what I looked like in Aunt Linda's dress, and now that I know I look fabulous, I could take it off. Oh, the shoes are pinching me. Oh. And please don't tell Aunt Linda I did this. Um, it might be kind of hard to keep that a secret. Why? You gotta... I think it's chocolate pudding, but but you know what it kind of looks like? I know what it looks like! And there's this crazy notion that I'm jealous. She's never gonna believe this was an accident. Well, she might believe you had an accident. I'm just making it worse. What are you gonna do? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'll take it to the dry cleaner in the mall. They're the ones that got the grass stains out of my wedding dress. Wait, you had grass stains on your wedding dress? You two were disgusting. Oh, please. Your father and I aren't animals. I just got really drunk at the reception and fell down a bunch of times. <laughs> Sorry, my lady. I had fun tonight. Yeah, fake father-daughter night was a blast. <laughs> Wait, so what did we do tonight? Uh, you saw some movie, and I watched a great game and got kicked out of the sharper image for getting pizza on their precious massage chair. <laughs> No, I mean, what are we going to tell Mom? Oh, right. Uh, well, we did have dinner at the food court, and after, we'll say we went to the candy barrel. Great. Okay, what did we get? We're many details. And if Mom doesn't believe us, she's going to make us do this again. Fine. I got some sour balls, and you got fudge. Sour balls? What are you, 80? <laughs> okay, I got gummy fish, you got the fudge, and we got Mom peanut brittle, but then we dropped it in the parking lot, so it was too gross to give her, so you ate it yourself. That is exactly what I would do. And your mother thinks we don't know each other. Hey. hey, guys, how was your night? Great. Great, Mom. What'd you do? Well, we had dinner at the food court in the mall, and after, we went to the candy barrel. Well, I thought the candy barrel went out of business last month. Uh... Dad, you mean the cookie corner. He gets them confused. Oh, what kind of cookies did you get? Uh, sour balls. Cookies. <laughs> And I got the oatmeal raisin, and then we got you a peanut butter, but we dropped it in the parking lot, so Dad ate it. <laughs> Sounds like your father. Yes, it does. I love this kid. 
<laughs> See, I knew this father-daughter thing was gonna be great. Feel free to tell me I was right a lot. Don't take away your fun of reminding me. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Speaking of reminding, don't forget we have my boss's dinner party next weekend. Oh, that ragtime thing. <laughs> I know, but my boss really wants us to come, and it's just one miserable Friday out of your life. Oh, did, did you say Friday? Yeah. It's just, Lauren and I are going out. <laughs> Again? Yeah, yeah, we decided to make this father-daughter thing every Friday night. Oh. But I'll just bail on her, maybe we can pick it up another no, time. No, no, if you cancel on her, then she'll cancel on you and you'll never get back to it again. I'll just go to Dr. Gerber's ragtime thing on my own. Or maybe you could take Brian. Oh, good idea, he likes things that suck. <laughs> what? I, I don't like things that suck. How would you like to hear some ragtime? Oh, ragtime, you betcha. <laughs> So, uh, what are you doing tonight? I'm just gonna hang out with Becca, Kristen, and Amy. Maybe do some shopping. Yep. Well, I know we've been lying to your mom about what we've been doing these past few weeks, so I thought tonight maybe we could actually spend some quality time together. You know, sharing our feelings and... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> quality time. You should have seen your face. <laughs> I'm really glad we decided to make this a regular thing. Oh, you're telling me. First, I got out of Dr. Gerber's old-time nightmare. Yeah, and then last week, we got out the door just as Grandma was coming in. Another old-time nightmare? <laughs> I'm really starting to cherish this time we're not spending together. Me too. Well, I better go meet Kristen, Beck, and Amy. Bye. All right, then. Give my best to Krusty, Barbie, and Archie. <laughs> Hi. Can I get a free sample, please? Weren't you here just a few minutes ago? Uh, it's, it's not for me, it's uh, for, for my little girl. Here you go, sweetie. <laughs> Ju Judy, well, what, what are you doing here? Oh, picking up Linda's stupid wedding dress from the dry cleaners. I hope they got that stain out. Where's Lord? She's in the, in the bathroom. She might be a while. She's... Probably in there doing lady stuff. So what are you guys doing later? Well, there's a game on, but we're, we're, uh, we weren't gonna watch that. That's, that's for sure. Uh, we talked about going downtown to this fancy new ice cream place. Dunbar's? Sure. Oh, God, I've been dying to go there. I tell you what, I'm gonna drop the dry cleaning off at the house and then I'll meet you guys there around nine. Gotcha. <gasps> Crap, crap, crap. Hey, Brian, listen, Aunt Linda's trying on her wedding dress. When she comes down, tell her how beautiful she looks. She doesn't know anything about the stain. Oh, so the cleaners got it out? No, no, but I fixed it so you could barely notice. Oh, oh Linda, you look so pretty, doesn't she, Brian? Yeah, you look, whoa! <laughs> I really do look good, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I just don't remember this bow being back here. <laughs> really? Because I think it makes the dress, don't you, Brian? It, it drew my eye. <laughs> it's kind of in a weird place, don't you think? No, no, you know what? You just have to get used to it. Why don't you just walk around a little? Okay. What's the matter, Mom? They didn't have any bigger bows, like the kind you put on a new car? <laughs> didn't know what else to do. I don't believe it. Tina left her pudding here again. Hey, so I snipped off the bow. Looks better, don't you think? I couldn't really see what I was doing, though. What? what, did I nick the fabric? No, no, it looks great. And that's putting it nicely. Man, these shoes are killing me. God, Mom and her narrow feet. <laughs> Yes, it's one of the worst things I've ever seen in this house. <laughs> and I've seen some bad things. Oh God, I gotta get this out! <laughs> How would you like a motorcycle? Hey, hey, I know you. You're Lauren's friend, Crystal or Christy or Christmas. <laughs> it's Kristen. 
I've known you since I was five. Yeah, yeah, a lot of memories. Where's Lauren? Uh... Isn't, isn't she supposed to be with you guys? Uh... We got bored, so we ditched her, right? Really? Yeah, that's what happened. That's odd, because she said you were the boring one. <laughs> she did? That is so mean. You know, she and Becker at the Tom Tom room. That dance club, she lied to me. I'm gonna kill her. Oh, by the way, she didn't say you were boring, but way to be a friend. <laughs> I can't believe you'd betray my trust. You, you ruined the nice thing we had going on. You mean scamming mom? Yes. <laughs> you took our beautiful lie and turned it into something ugly. I'm sorry. You know, it was okay that we weren't hanging out together when I was in on it, but this made it feel like, like you were playing me, like, like you were blowing me off. I only blew you off this one time. Well. Well, what? Nothing. <laughs> Well, actually, it was twice. There was that father-daughter skating thing at school. I thought you didn't care about that. Maybe I do. How come you didn't invite me to that? Well, I started to, but you were watching this Bulls game, and the other team scored, and you made me leave because you said I was bad luck. I did that? I am so sorry. It's all right. No, no, it's not. Your mother was right. I've really been neglecting our relationship. Now you're running off to some club. I, I need to be more involved in your life. Really? Yeah. Yeah. From now on, I'm going to every father-daughter event at your school. Okay. You know, next week, there's a father-daughter square dance. Oh, hey, I am there. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you should have seen your face but it's sweet that you would have done it for me. So are you gonna tell mom on me? No. But for your punishment, we're really gonna have a father-daughter night. <laughs> Maybe we should try some of those things that we lied to mom about. Yeah. We had some pretty good pretend times. <laughs> you know, I really would like to try that new ice cream place downtown. Oh, yeah, Dunbar's. Yeah, somebody else was talking about that. <laughs> Who was that? We were supposed to meet your mom there two hours ago. Look, don't panic, okay? Good with coming up with lies. Now, why are we late? We stopped for sourball cookies. You know what? I'll do the talking. Hey, I'm back. Hey! Ooh. What's, uh, what's in the box? Linda's wedding dress. She's coming by to pick it up. We finally got that stain out. Looks nice. <laughs> you <-hoo! laughs> Here's my beautiful wedding dress. Okay, so tell Judy thanks a million. No one is opening this box till my wedding day. 